Welcome back to another episode of WCW Women Cocktails and Whatever. I am Shell Antoinette and it's your big little sister Asia. Good morning. Halloween edition. Welcome to a very October. A boozy episode. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, dead jokes are my face. They are definitely okay. your thing. It's a season for it. It's it's Halloween time. It is. I got inspirational. It, it you did. <laughs> I'm drinking a potion. What is this? It is the witch's brew. <laughs> okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Before we get into that, though, I feel like mm-hmm. we need snake bites. I feel like we do. Because, child. Honey, boo boo. The behind the scenes, y'all know nothing be. about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Because production. Production. Listen. Production. Double shot his life away. Oh my gosh. This? I don't even need to drink no more. This is frosted and stuff. I know. It's, it looks so good. It's sexy and scary. <laughs> so, so for our witch's brew, I'm going to let y'all know that I kind of fake freestyle mm-hmm. this um, recipe. I was looking and I was looking. I kept seeing all these different variations. And I was like, I got this, 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 and this. We're going to go with that. Makes sense to me. Then they kept doing it in a shot form. Ooh. So I was like, how can I make this work? For our 10 ounce glass and for all parties. So, mm-hmm. what happened is you get you some berries, the blueberries and the, no, blackberries and the raspberries and the blueberries. Yeah, make it all three. Two of An those. An eye of Noop. Black and blue. Black and blue, thank you. An eye Black of Noop and blue. is what we're going to call it. And you're going to add some simple syrup. You're going to muddle, 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 muddle. The From blood there, of fairy. You know what? I got to rename all of this stuff. It's Halloween, okay? <laughs> eye of Noop, blood of fairy. Let's go. What else okay. we got in here? No. <laughs> So we're going to muddle that. We're going to go ahead and add what I did for two was three ounces of vodka. Whatever vodka that you want to go with. That can just be vodka. That can just, just that don't need no other name. And then same thing, three ounces of lime juice. Mm-hmm. Mix, mix, the mix. Oh, dragon. add you some glitter for extra effect. Sparkle. And pour that in your martini glass. Yes. And here we have it, we which know. is brew. So we use dry ice. I'll oh, dry ice, obviously. Establish the, we use dry ice. Do not touch that. If yes. it's in your drink, Don't, be careful. Yeah. Okay. You so, see the frosted? That's gonna happen to you. Like the frost king, the ice king, what's the name? I'm not mad about this. That's amazing. I'm not mad. I didn't expect it to taste like this though. And also Nervous. smells very good. Like an itty bitty spice. <laughs> I'm like, I get an itty itty bitty tight. I don't know. If you don't see cool. how I just look like this? It was probably fruit though, because it's fruit. Yeah, here. I'm gonna wait till it's completely done smoking. Nah, I mean, I feel like I gotta add more liquor. I mean, this is good though. It's really good. I don't know what I expected it to taste like though. I don't know, but it's good. It doesn't taste like what I expected, but I'm not sure. I expected more berry. Okay. Um, because of the amount of berry in there, uh huh. But it ain't super heavy berry. I, I like it. I like it. I like all of this. Yeah. It was a little little boiling bubble, toiling trouble. I was really at the like, I'm just rename it to boiling bubble, yeah. toiling trouble. Yeah. That's what the name of the drink is. Who gonna Who gonna check us? Who gonna check me? Boo? Nobody. All right. Is you ready? Oh no. I'm I'm hoping I'm ready. Okay. Continue talking. I was like, you got the serious face. I ain't had Yeah, no. we still ready. Okay, all right. We ready. <laughs> she ready. Hey, ready. Again, if you're here, like I be look I'm looking we down for the audio purposes. So we is learning, we is trying it. <laughs> okay. So we gonna start. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's gonna lead us into a couple things. Okay, you prepared for I'm this prepared, show. I'm prepared, okay? I, I just showed up. Okay, we gonna start. I supplied the set. Well, she supplied a lot. <laughs> she supplied the drink. She has supplied it. She has supplied this. That's enough, honey. Okay. Okay. You, you know, I do what I can do. Body uh, roll. Okay. Body uh, roll. Okay, all right. So, our Insecure is back. Yes! Sadly so. Sadly so, because it's the final it's season. It's the final season, and you know we let you down, yeah. Issa. But after reading some stuff online, I'm like, I actually am very happy that they get to end their story. Yeah. Like, they get to it choose. It wasn't canceled. It wasn't canceled, and I think we don't get a lot of that. True. So, I would love to see it going, but I think if, like, creatively, you're deciding that this is all right, I'm done with it, I like it better that way, because then if we do decide to pick up on it, it's 
it's easier to I do so. I was watching the uh, Breakfast Club, and she okay. recently had an interview on there, and Charlamagne was like, so are we going to get a movie? Mm. And she was like, no. Mm. And he was like, well, he brought it up because of girlfriends, how everybody thinks they wish it up. And she was like, that makes sense because they didn't get an a ending. Yeah. However, comma, I think that, I don't know how this end is going to be weak. I know pre-copy. I'm just bringing this up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. depending on how it ends, I feel like, and if, if you don't know, I feel like this is a show that you can pick up in five, ten years, and you can do a movie. Yeah. Just to be like where they are now, or something of that yeah. nature, or if you want to do in five years some type of weird ass spinoff yeah. from I it. mean, because that's what they did with Sex and the City. The Sex and the City movies came well after the fact. Well right? after actual, like, Sex and the City, the show was out. I never so, watched the show. I always seen right. the movies. You don't, we don't need to we talk, talk about You know what? We talked about we that did. on the first episode that y'all never y'all got never to see. see. <laughs> but you might see some little clips later. But yeah, that all. Okay, <laughs> so we're talking about Insecure, right? Mm-hmm. And we're going to go through, because a couple of the cast Pull have baby. had some stuff. And um, we're going to start with our boy Lawrence. Okay. Because um, the black the black Twitters and Instagrams had realized that this whole time, we had not never seen no picture of this man wife on the lines. Not on the Instagram, not on the... But she was. And it came to find out. But I, why did I know that then? Because, I seen her. because it had came out apparently a couple years ago that he had got told by his marketing team to keep your wild wife off of your social media for sake of your branding. Are you serious? This is what the rumor report has said. And I said, well, wait a minute. Rumor. But, okay. but they said, like, okay, like, no one can confirm or deny this except for him because it's your marketing right. team. But people were like, it makes sense because I guess why we know that he has his white wife is because at some point earlier when the show first came out on some of the red carpets or something, like, she was there. And then like, you stopped seeing her. On the red carpets with him at events, she is never there. Mm, you know, I looked at his social media and I said, "You know what, nigga? Not you I, know what, nigga. I had not known that it was nobody. Like it's just out of sight, out of mind, you." And so, that's one. I just want to make sure the dry ass is out. Ooh, there. it is <laughs> not mine. Is a nice little hefty. Oh, as oh, I, as we I got pour, smoke, fire, and flame. As I knock and drop all of these, I feel like a. It's all right. Yeah, right. I feel like a real witch right now. We just stirring some shit up. Um, okay, but how do you feel one big chunk about big old chunk? If for sake of a job, mm-hmm. somebody is like, I know that's your person and all, you love them, but don't bring that bitch around her. Like, what you? I and if you are on the receiving end of that, of someone coming to me like, baby, I love you, but they can't I, see you. I think that's kind of fucked up. Like, this is my wife, and yeah. I should be able to. Show oh, shit. and fucking shit up. Like that's kind of fucked up. And okay, so it brings the question though. You know, people are always like private versus public relationships. Because to counter that, Issa got married. She did. Where do we see her and her bae? Never. Nowhere. <laughs> so what's the so like private and hidden? I feel like are two different. Okay, things. talk to me. Talk to me about so, this. Talk to me. Issa had chose to not involve the world into her personal life. Okay, okay. Marketing told you to have your wife, okay, and you obliged. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now I could, we weren't in there, we don't know. Okay. But if that was the conversation, and then from there on now, we never seen her again. You purposely Fair. hit her. Fair. Whereas Issa never told you anytime she was ever dating, met anybody. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that. She, it is not that you did not know because we seen when she got engaged, we saw the rings, we seen when she got married, you, we seen him, it's and we like, saw her skirt past it in the like when the she would be like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. like that's a ch- but you know the only thing that Issa could have said, and I, I don't, I'll say it like this, I didn't mind her being like skirt skirt on these interviews, mm-hmm. but she also could have been like, I like to keep my private life private. There. And just kept it pushing. You know, right? you don't know that to us, so we ain't. Yeah, so like I, I mean, either way, but. Skirt, skirt, it was funny. It was the way she did it. Great, great, great. Even to even to today when she do interviews, they ask her, like, how's married life? And I see her. She'd be like, yeah, it's so weird that I showed up at this place. These girls had on matching dress. I thought that was so embarrassing. And it was a party. Like, the way she, she said, does I'm it now. I'm awkward and I'm going to be awkward forever. Yeah. It's fine. The way she does it now is a thing. But, like, going out your way to purposely not show the world who you date is a thing. Yeah. But just being like, I'm keeping my life private. If you happen to catch us out, then fine. 
but like you won't catch us out is a thing yes <laughs> like there is a like if we ain't telling people all of our business they should know you're in a relationship they should not know all the details Details of your relationship relationship. yes that i'm perfectly fine with like if i'm dating you and you're like babe i don't really do social media like that i don't necessarily want pictures and all of that online that's cool that means that i won't just be like you laying next to me look this nigga here okay Mm -hmm. i won't do that however if i'm going somewhere there they should know people should know that i have a plus one right that does not mean that like to the masses i'm gonna be like Oh yeah, but people should know. Yeah. And vice versa. Like somebody should look and be like, oh, that's so and so woman. They should look and be like, oh, that's so and so man. People should know. Right. And then like don't be like, oh, you know, it's a job function, so you can't really I be seeing that in like the Hallmark movies. And they be like, Oh, you because know it's a work she, thing. It's the work holiday the party. Movies. I love the Hallmark movies though. Okay. <laughs> Every day. But they be like, Oh, it's a work party. You know, you don't need to be there. It's not gonna be fun anyway. Nigga, I will leave you. Bye. I will randomly show up just to make sure it's a work party. Because don't play in my face like that. <laughs> I mean, like, you left something at home. It, it was, was me. me. <laughs> it was me. Don't do that to yourself, okay? That every And it's one thing if it's, like, every once in a while, like, your work retreats or something like that. But, like, every party? Y'all need a good look at this bubble bubble. The bubble. Okay. I don't got no bubble bubble, though. I'm salty. I'm over here picking Why I got? I got nothing. This is sad. This is sadness happening. Okay. So I we're uh, cool for privacy, no for, no for denial. Denial. Denial is never a good space because to be Because a lot of people, wa- I mean, Michael Ely's married to a white woman. Yeah. And a lot of people were Amari shocked. Hardrick. Amari Hardrick. Mm-hmm. Um, so, a but lot I don't of them. feel like they're hiding them. I just think people didn't expect it more of. Because like, if you go to like Michael Ely's Insta, you see his wife and mm-hmm. his biracial children. Uh, I don't know if Amari and his wife got kids, but... Um, I don't remember, but you see her. Yeah, but you her. see her. Yeah. You know, it's like, I'm not shooting from the rooftop, but I'm not hiding them either. Like, And I think it's a reality that no one cares. So more of also why I'm offended too. by it is, for your marketing team, if this is true, and your marketing team was like, don't show your wife because, like, sake of image, sake of what you're trying to do. I'm like, y'all really be trying black people. As if we care about whether Facts. or not you married Facts. someone else. Because I'm like, like, what does that do for his character on Insecure? Like, when he had a whole episode where he went out and fucked some white bitches because he needs to feel better about himself. Yes. We are aware of it now. If it's an issue because he want to pull a, um, uh, what's the dude from from the best man that got his ass whooped? Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs. If he want to pull a Tay Diggs and be like, see, this is why I'm happy. I'm not married to a black woman after being around black women for this long. See, that's a problem. If that's what you do when your wife is around, that's then yeah, keep her and keep, you. Keep, you can stay at home with, with her. her. With we her. might actually send her. We might like her better. Send her. If that's what you're doing, <laughs> cool. Ooh, I but can't like, stand to hear some BS like that. Like, what? Love who you gonna love, but don't be down to don't everybody else. Don't throw me under like, the bus because that make no sense you're inadequate. That's just disres- the disrespect. Like, we've endured enough. The disrespect. Leave us be. Leave us be. Give us free. Give us free, okay? Okay, so we got one insecure character. Okay. Okay. Insecure, they didn't have a lot of... It's been a week! They didn't have... <laughs> I it didn't mean, even been a full Over week. the time, because then you had the, like, uh... What's the other dude in the... The light the the skin dude And was, the bank teller yes. actually had a baby together, yes. and it was some drama behind. Y'all was out here, okay? I would have loved to be on the set for the gossip. Listen, for what the are gossip. We, what are we doing today? Okay. But more on the insecure cast and the gossip. Ooh, right. Guys. Okay. So, we are me and you collectively mm-hmm. are fans of Amanda Seal. Mm-hmm. We enjoy her. I know there's a lot of people who was not on her chart on her Amanda, bandwagon, Amanda, but Amanda, Amanda. I like Amanda. And you know mm-hmm. when the masses don't like somebody, but they come together in to defense of <laughs> is a thing. So if you Listen. hadn't noticed on the most, the first episode of Insecure. Amanda's character, her fictional character, her character is an AKA. Tiffany Dubois is an AKA. Okay. Throughout the episode, you can see that she's wearing plenty of the pink and green. It's homecoming weekend. It's homecoming weekend. She's going to show up and show out. At the part of it, I guess she's wearing something that's got the, what you call it, sigil? The emblem. Shield. 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 Okay. She was wearing the actual AKA shield. Mm-hmm. Now, 
the Twitter went ablaze. Aww. Because I don't even know if it was a true AKA that was upset. I didn't do my research, whatever. But I know Twitter went ablaze. Somebody complained about her wearing the shield. Now, take it up with my management, thanks. They went to personally attack Amanda Seals, the actress, right? Who all she did was show up to work, said her lines, put on her clothes, and left the fuck out. Sit. They really came to her about her wearing the shield. Amanda, obviously, who's very good with her words, went out and pretty much said, you guys, I have no disrespect for the Greeks. I love, support all of them. I understand that I'm not part of the, part of the organization. Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, et cetera, et cetera. It wasn't because the character represents. And her character, and it, it would be different if her character was a trash ass character who was representing AK. <laughs> like she literally was just like, I'm coming to my alumni weekend yeah. to talk about all of my greatness and accomplishments yes. with I'm my black, married. wonderful friends. I have just had a this baby. Is wonderful. <laughs> We're living our best lives. Womanhood, ain't that the point that he's But the part, and okay. Sometimes Twitter bothers me. Mm, talk it's about the, it. it's the, talk about. we are, we are, we are, we have freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. We can say and feel how we want. But sometimes I just really want people to shut the fuck up. That is Because if you were upset about that, which you had every right to be as a Greek soror, I'm scared of this, sorority sister, whatever that may be, don't, don't check me for words. But you had every right to be upset, but you was upset at the wrong person. The wrong because person. Because Amanda showed up to work and did her job. She went to Who wardrobe. Sh- she went, who she, she didn't dress have, herself. Who you should have been upset with, and hate to say it was probably more of Issa or more of Prentice or more of the showrunners, the producers, the executives, the people behind the people who put the image together, the legal who, team, the legal all the team. people who have to be like yes. Because as I've educated myself, I know that there is a like the top of the tier of sororities, and you are supposed to get permission mm-hmm. to use this because it's corp. It's a corporation. It's a corporation, and it's, it's copyrighted. It's copyrighted. So you needed to get permission for that. However, did we know or not know if they got permission for that? So they didn't, apparently. Okay. So this is also, I would not know that as staff, right? Like, if I show up to anything and I'm doing my job, if we show up to a regular event, and my company, big, dumb company, is like, we got sponsors, yeah. right? And so they gave us a jacket with... Mercedes, mm-hmm. all on the back with the emblem logo, Mercedes, right? I show up and you said you need to wear this today. Okay. I put that on. I don't know if you got that cleared. I just know. It's not my responsibility to know yes. that. I'm. It's my responsibility to put it on so I don't get fired. Right. It costs motion. <laughs> so that's what I did. So she wouldn't have known if they got it cleared. It's not her responsibility. No, to be fair, it's also not Issa's responsibility. You have production. Yeah. You have a legal team. Yeah. You are on Showtime, yeah. HBO. It, one of them. One of them. You're on a, a, a site that should do this for you. That's why y'all pay people these big, big checks so they can live big, in these big, 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 big houses. Mm-hmm. Big, big checks to live in these houses for someone to checks and balance this stuff. Okay, that's how it works. That's not on them to know that. The so, rumbling, so, tumbling, boiling <laughs> in the back. In the, we had dries in the back. We was trying to give y'all a little fix. But it is okay. bubbling behind me. I'm scared it's going <laughs> to pop out. That's a whole other story. But yeah, so they should have known. It apparently did not get cleared. The national chapter of the AKAs came out and said, like, it's been brought to our attention Okay, that... Some like our our emblems and seal or whatever were used without permission. We will be following up legal. So first of all, it's been brought to their attention. Nobody in there was like, yes. Legal team probably didn't even care. They like, oh great, it's a nice show. Look at the black girls doing black girl things. It's so nice. Okay, so but nice. it is a legal matter. Yes. So I understand. Cool. We will follow up with that. But now y'all dragging and attacking the girl. Like, she shouldn't have done... But the crazy thing is, y'all only did it because you don't like Amanda. And let's be real about that. It's be- because, because... Because... Molly, also, let's clarify this. Molly, in previous seasons, is also an AKA. They are sorority sisters. This is how they even became... Molly has had AKA stuff. She was sipping out of the AKA mug while she was sitting in her little cozy law firm. Nobody had the smoke for her. Because they like her. But then they was like, oh, it's the difference. Because it's just the letters versus the seal. 
Is it not it's, that just as important? If I so if I go get an AK license plate. I could just be like, well, it's just the letters and the color. Y'all can't be mad at me. Don't go try and jump me in the parking lot. Yes. Don't absolutely. play. You get girl. You thug ass bitch. Listen. Don't play. Okay. Gee, they go. You gonna come out. They gonna be you asking. They gonna that. whisper in your ear and ask you all the questions. If you better be able to answer them. You gonna be sitting there like, so you want me to just give you the car keys or like <laughs> what you need from me? So don't try that whole. Oh, it's because this this was no. No, because y'all would have flagged that earlier. To be fair, literally y'all would have flagged it earlier. Because there are enough AKAs and Greeks yes. outside yes. of AKAs, there are enough Greeks that watch the show. Yes, for in season Y'all one just or two, don't like Amanda, and that is like and dislike who you gonna like. But you're not gonna come at the girl for doing her job solely because you don't like her. Because you don't like her. And I was, and then the fact that this, you know, it was from people. Amanda took the time to like copy, photograph, whatever. The tweets of people that's like, I don't even fuck with a man that y'all wild. And like, when people that don't even like this particular person gotta come in, like, it's a problem. And it's also like, my problem with it is, so on our older black shows, we love telling people like, oh, bring back when they would promote HBCU culture. Mm -hmm. They would promote HBCU schools. Mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. And here you have a show doing it to the fullest. Like, okay, could we be like, yeah, they could have used imaginary, sure. But at this day and age, it's so well known, and it's so many more of us watching this yeah. that like it makes sense to try and use and really give re- their yeah. Because when a different world was doing it, nobody had nothing to say, and we don't know who in the background when they had all of the Greeks sweatshirts and yes. stuff. We don't know if those people were actually a part of the fraternity or sorority they were representing. Absolutely. You showed up as an extra on set. Would it have made a difference if Amanda was an AKA? Yeah, because then she could have just been like, "I showed up with my stuff." And then y'all could have personally attacked her. It would have made sense if she was an AKA and she was just like, but, I'm doing however, this. however, comma, production still wouldn't have had the right to put it out there, though, yes. right? Yes, but I understand. Like, production wouldn't have had the right to do it, and legally they still would have to have the battle. But I understand that, like, she can still claim if she was an AKA, she could be like, I was just wearing this, and I'm representing who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. The caveat becomes, at the end of the day, it's a legal issue of, like, copyright infringement. Right. And, like legally who has claims to different things so she could have been like yeah i'm gonna wear it because this my stuff and i own it but like because it's a part of a show that's syndicated and getting a lot of money yeah they still would have been like mm, well you can't use that part of it so talk to us about that I, or they could have blurred it out they could have just been like or i know it's there been just happy. Been just been the colors they could have yeah. been happy that they, they put just, it yeah. on the map Y'all could have been like, yes. You don't know what the, and that's nothing. You don't even know what you just did for the sorority because sadly, not all black people know about these sororities. Yeah. And it only takes one or two or whatever people to put you on. I didn't join any sororities, but I remember like being young and my cheerleader coach was a Delta. Mm-hmm. And I was like, she was just very proud about all of her, like, her pillows, her coat, her bag, like everything was very dense. I was like, what is that? I was so yeah. curious. And then I started asking her about it. I learned this was like seventh, eighth grade. So then I went to my high school, which was very HBCU. Like all the teachers in there yeah. were Greek or just went to an HBCU in general, which is very. And then a lot of my other teachers were Deltas. And I was like, well, I should do this. Like, you this know? Makes sense. And then you get the one where, because I, I don't feel like it was a lot of AKAs in my school at the time. But then you get one like, okay, well, what's that one? You know, and then you start realizing. It makes you curious so, like, about you it. just really, and unfortunately, they didn't get permission, but they did put it on a map for more people who may not have known nothing about it. And now they're like, well, what's an AKA? Let me look into this. Like, it's not, like, for me, that's why I'm like. I had students at the school I teach that was asking me about it. And now y'all mad. Like, it's, this is free recruitment. <laughs> <laughs> what is you talking about? This is free recruitment, okay? Get that. And it's not even just free recruitment for, like, the younger people. All of these organizations have alumni chapters. Mm-hmm. So you got older people. You got our generation. Maybe they didn't play. And, like, you're watching this. And, again, for them to do it on, like, the homecoming season. Yeah. Because I'm like, people probably sitting there like, oh, dang, I'm going to do this. One. Like, yes. let me explore this more or figure out, like, you're right. I was interested in this. Let me go back and see what they're doing. Now all we know y'all doing is being angry on per the usual. Twitter. Her, okay. Twitter be so. I think that's why I don't be on Twitter that much. It's like people go out their way to be jerks on Twitter. Twitter either be like anger, randomness, or porn. That's what I feel like happens on Twitter. Yes. This is it used to be fun. 
it yeah. used to be fun. It used to be so random, like you just randomly make a comment and then people are like, oh my God, I was just thinking that. It no. used to, the hashtags and the, it Mm-mm. used to just simply be fun Mm-mm. and to get news. Like, Mm-mm. both of the, now you get on there. I remember asking a question. Ask the question on there, and I was me and my friend was having a conversation about one thing, and then he was like, "Ask Twitter, maybe they have like a good answer for you." And I was like, "Okay, we'll see." And I asked a question on Twitter, and I'm not a popular Twitter, so I was like, "Hey, Twitter, one Twitter, of you popular Twitter. people, can you retweet this so I can get some answers?" Makes sense. My popular Twitter friend went on there and retweeted it, and boy, oh boy, Ooh. did those t- messages they got all the smoke came in, and they were so aggressive like and I'm like ooh mm-hmm. let me tell you I something. was just asking ooh a question let me hmm. tell you something Twitter will Twitter be mad it, the social media be mad at me because I be like look I said what I said and y'all can leave me alone there is no amount of aggressive tweeting that you're gonna do to me that's going to make me be like oh my god I'm so sorry nah if I'm wrong I'm wrong okay if I'm wrong I'm wrong I'll be like educate me let me go learn this. You know what? But I didn't say what? that. I was it, messed up. And I mean, they don't give you that. No. They just, they go from a zero to a thousand. They be like, like you should never. Your dumbass, and you could, you be like, whoa, wait a minute. First of oh, all, bitch, oh, I be having time. Take a so second. now I'm going to go to your profile. I'm going to zoom in on your profile picture. I'm going to show you all of where your picture, you had me fucked up. So you can take that back, print it, put it on your mirror, and shut the fuck up talk to me. Because <laughs> I am not going to care. Now you're going to have, you started a Twitter war because you thought that I was going to feel bad. And I was going to like, oh my God, let me shrink back. And now we got to be out here because I'm talking about you and your kids and your baby mamas. Okay, don't do that. Leave people kids alone. Kids are off limits in a reality TV world. But oh, they never really be off limits. They be like, kids are off limits. Why don't you go home and, and take, take care of your kids? I thought we just said we were talking about them. They with the nanny. Leave them alone. Jeez. You know what's so funny about that? That's just a quick side note. You know how on Real Housewives of Potomac, you are going toward. Your culture is ready. Okay. Um. Real sad on the Real Housewives of Potomac. Mm-hmm. You remember when me and Candace made up? Yes. And she was like, you know, I, I don't want to bring up her mom because I realized the time I'm If I'm a pick at you, I'm a pick at you. Remember they said they had that conversation? I don't know if you've seen the trailer mm-hmm. to Real Housewives of Potomac. That's what Funky likes to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the thing, in the, in the trailer, Mia said something. No, she calls Candace a hood rat. Candace, a hood rat. And Candace go, your mother. And in that moment, I was like, you purposely went out your way to do some shit like that. Which is funny, because did you not call Monique a hood rat last season? I just and Team Candace need to get popped in the mouth every time some shit, crazy shit. I don't know. Well, I don't know how many other times I get. Your mother. Bitch, say it again. Say it again. But my point is, if we decide that we're not going to talk about a certain thing, let's not talk about that. Let's not. If you want to be shady, you want to pick on me, pick on me. And something tell that's me. so easy to not talk about. Yes. I'm free game. I'm, tell, I'm standing here. Tell me I'm big. Tell me I got. Tell me my face look fake. Yes. Tell me my husband ain't shit. Yes. Tell me all the. Actually, don't even do that because then I'm going to be like, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Either way, focus on focus me. Focus on me. Do not go for Talk about my feet, my hands. My hands. Any of that other Tell me my breast name. Shit. Something. Do something. I don't know. That, that ain't it. Okay, we going we gonna to refill. Yeah, I like that we get the drinks. Pills and potion. Uh, who's on the Okay. Alright, we really feel. Let's go. Let's go. Second half. Ma'am. So, ma'am. Uh-huh. That's giving me cat nay horse. I don't know. Okay. Meow, <laughs> okay. meow. It's the cats of Halloween. Uh-huh. Okay, people be scared of horses for no fucking reason. What's wrong? Well, let me somebody tell y'all a secret. Let me tell y'all a secret. We was in Jamaica. Oh. I'm not scared per se. I just don't trust them. So wait, we still what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> what though? That makes perfect sense. How do you not trust the horse? They will kick you I, in your fucking thank face. Thank you. I have a lot of people will kick you in your face <laughs> too. Stop bothering them. <laughs> leave them alone. So we and they leave you alone. We was in Jamaica and we was horseback riding, all right? And so I got on my horse, whose name was Joseph, by the way. And as soon as I got on the horse, I was like, what's his name? And he was like, Joseph. I was like, okay. He was like, just chilling, you know, Did talking to everybody. tell you his name? No. I know. The guy I'm just who saying, I was it. about to just name. Let's get clarifying <laughs> questions here. The guy. And so I'm sitting on 
Joseph. And I'm Joseph. like, hey, Joseph. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm petting. And we're going to become, let, let's chill out today. We're not going to do nothing yeah. crazy, right? Because we are in this we together. <laughs> Please and like me. I'm like, Please you be like okay. Me. I'll be okay. We be okay. Again. Because sometimes they be like, we finna go on a ride. <laughs> and then be out. And I don't have time for that. You just got to be like, let's get it. And then calm your ass for now. You got it out your system. They like kids. You let kids run around for a little bit and he be like, all right. See, that comes down. from a person who's, who rides horses, I feel like. Or who has. That's fair. And me and this horse, I was like, we gonna be friends. Because I can't do nothing if you go crazy. I'm just gonna fly off the horse. I'm gonna mm-hmm. break bones. I've never broken a bone. Don't wanna experience that. Mm-hmm. So, I need you to be cool. I'm gonna be cool. We gonna be cool together. That's because fair. the person who had, the person, I guess who they wasn't fucking with that was in our... Yeah, it was they my was, whole, oh no, you talking about the white no, man, yes. that white man horse was like, they was purposely, they purposely gave him that, that horse, which, and that horse was, no one is that shit, but yeah, they had to keep the horse separate from all the other ones, the man had to be like, nah, that horse was like, I told y'all I was having a bad day, I told y'all I was on vacation, you called me out on vacation so I could carry this motherfucker, all right. Listen, All right. you won't have a good time today. Dead ass. Not I was with like, me. I'm happy I don't have that yeah, horse. They, okay? were saying, they were saying they was picking. They, was so like, they were like, you could get this. Yes. Okay. I was going to show stuff. Are we okay? Hey, Joseph. Yeah, you did have a nice horse. I did. He was, he was nice so nice to me. He was a nice horse. Mine didn't like My one of the guys. My was nice to me. What? Well, mine didn't like one of the guys. I was like, you cheated on her? But <laughs> she was like, you supposed to be, this must be your horse, and now you with this you other one. You had diamond, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Down in his belly with it, who's getting naked? Yeah. Hey, Diamond was with it. And then she saw him and she was like, I'm gonna fuck that nigga up. And I was like, well, sis, wait till I get off you because I don't <laughs> need no part to that. It's all right. I support you, but it's all right. Okay. Okay. Second round of Second snake, round bites. snake bites. Let's hit it. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, 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 what? That was a good one. Does he do us this way? <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that was a good one. one. That, that was actually one. a good one. I'm going to give you that production. I don't like it. Um, okay. okay. So it's the week of Halloween. It is. Do you have any plans? Like Halloween parties? I don't know why I'm asking you because if you did, I'm sure I would have been invited. But Yeah, I was like, I'm going to come over to your house. <laughs> I'm going to trick or treat in your refrigerator, bitch. I don't know <laughs> what you think I'm going to do. I'm not yet. Yeah, no, I'm going to avoid actual trick or treaters. Do, do people still trick or treat? Yeah. In certain neighborhoods, they definitely go to certain neighborhoods. And what I actually like to do is go into the stores. Because you could trick or treat at the stores. And yeah. some of them be giving you like the regular size yes, ones. Yes. And I'd be like, let me get a Snickers. Yes. And then I get the big Snickers. So. <laughs> I mean, I haven't. I haven't seen trick-or-treaters in quite some time. I know that they probably go to the malls or mm-hmm. those collective community-based areas where yeah. like everybody come here. But, like, I miss. Not that I miss, but I remember trick-or-treating as a child. Like. Those yeah, times. our neighborhood gets them. I didn't trick or treat as a child. I definitely um would throw stuff at people out the window and duck. But I didn't trick or treat. That wasn't a thing that we did. So did you did you watch scary movies? Define I know you're not scary. To find scary because I don't want to let the demons in my home. Well, what are the scary movies that you watch? Um, I watch like thrillers and like suspense, suspense, and what's the like gore ones? Like I like blood and gore. I didn't know if it was like, it's, it's called something else, but like, I like Guts and Gore. gore. Um, so I'll do like Saw, I'll do um, some of the other like suspense. You know what um, I realized that we do as a black community in the shade room shine light on it, but what? we do this. We don't name any of the scary movies by their actually name, the actual names. We name them based off of the person that's in the movie that's scary. Yeah, depending on how many syllables it got. Be like, cause Saul, be like, I'd be like, it's you, Saul. you really be like Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger and Jason. And Jason. I definitely say Freddy Krueger. I think I say Halloween. I don't. Have you seen Chucky or have you seen Child's Play? Is, uh, definitely say it's Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> no one's um, saying Child's Play. The around. Sweet Man is the only one that we don't say his That's name. Very true. Y'all know who I'm talking about? No, okay. But did you know the Scream's real name? Like the character Ghostface. I 
didn't know that. But I don't know it because of the actual movie. I know it because like a random association because I'd be like Wu Tang, Ghostface. <laughs> <laughs> I, today in my grown so ass age That's what made sense to me no, So I maybe, remember this ghost Maybe face. about a week ago in my grown ass age When I was scrolling through And I was like They, was, they was naming them and Right now I'm still going what is, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street is Freddy, Freddy. Freddy. Michael Myers is Halloween, Halloween. Mm-hmm. Jason is Friday the 13th yeah. Friday the 13th yeah. Yeah, I fucked them up Friday When they was like Ghostface. I said, who the fuck is Ghostface? <laughs> but also because Ghostface, um, in the world of horror, as much as I don't be wanting to watch scary movies, I like movie trivia kind yeah. of stuff. So Scream that nigga started. Name was Scream. Yeah, it started its own genre though of horror movie. It did. Like that was its own. It became its own kind it of did. cult following. It did. So I remember being like, oh, Ghostface. That's why I was like random association. That nigga name was Scream. Your mama called you Scream, so I'ma call you Scream. Like, <laughs> I was like, y'all see Scream, like Scream mask, That's the how Scream the fuck killer. It's gonna I, work out. I never knew. Like I swear to God, I never knew that yeah. man's name was or that character name was Ghostface. Like, I feel no. like I mean I feel like that's an honorable thing to not know though because but I also I'm I'm te- I really named all the movies after like the, do we the know character. the man in Saw does the doll have a name Jigsaw it's Jigsaw what? yeah it's Saw it's, it just it was Saw I forget it was Jigsaw it was just Saw and I actually like that I watched that series in its entirety all of them I love Saw that's why you said can we watch Saw let me tell you so. I probably watched one through three. Nah, I know everything. But wait, don't one of the songs got Chris Rock? Rock the newest one. Spiral. Spiral, yeah. It's a spinoff. It's not, it is Saw, but it's like... Let me tell you something. Production don't get a microphone. Production in <laughs> a mic. And he got his glass. Let me tell y'all. Production sitting over there. Production's like my glass came and not a nigga sitting up here. Fucking you know why? Because if you, drinks and shit. if you realize that the first three to four episodes, production didn't say nothing. Production right? was trying to be he was like, all me. in the background. <laughs> Y'all coming from Yes. Yes. <laughs> and now these last episodes, he don't get no fuck. <laughs> and so when we was like, you gonna get a camera, he was like, nah, 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 nah I don't nah, want no camera. He nah. got glasses now. For now. You want a camera now? You got your glasses? Mm-hmm. He got all audio for me. All, all audio. audio. <laughs> Which we appreciate, because we be not had, remember. <laughs> but I'm really trying to think, like, what else do we not know names of? Like, we be like... Oh, it's the <laughs> our dry ice is uh, our potions are brewing. <laughs> <laughs> the dry um, ice is finally down, so I feel like I can trick my mind. Still now. getting it popping. Chris Brown owes a video. Chris Brown owes us a video. Call Erica Mina. Okay, because that was in his like uh yo, and then he could do like the extended like okay popping is now like y'all kind of you know she exchanged numbers or whatever you went on a date and then it's like. We can get it on and pop it. I feel like she would be down. Let me tell you something. I feel like we can make In that, all of 2021, he could still give me a popping video today. And I'm going to play. I'm going to have a party. He can do a video release. Yes. Party. And, I'm and I am attendance. VIP section me out <laughs> for the popping video. If you. Yes. What? I'm yes. in there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh. You know I love it. Yo, prank. speaking of, because this is the time of the season when celebrities like to go all out for Halloween. Mm-hmm. I might be butchering her name. So I think it's Tabria. She's a young, the, um, the model. Yeah. The curvy model. Yes, 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 yes. I was like, say last year. Yes. She did Sierra. I saw that. Baby made it. Okay. She made everything. She went to goodies. Shout out to her team. Cause she was like in the microphone. Yeah. Yes. But she, she hit her shit. I was like, ma'am, how long does it make take? Sierra did Selena. She did do Selena. Sierra did Selena. And then somebody came out, and not specifically commenting to Sierra personally, but was commenting about the amount of people who decided to do Selena for um, Halloween or something like that. I don't know what y'all want for people. You know, my That's like one year everybody did Tony Braxton. Oh my God, yes. The people are doing, and Tony Braxton is still like, like it's just a, people wanted to do somebody. They might have actually seen her or knew her costume design. and You know what? How, is Halloween still fun? I feel like celebrities take the... Unless you get money, it don't seem fun. No more. I don't think so. I think Halloween is as fun as... I feel like I people mean, don't I be fun. I feel like it's fun. Like, go out your way and make, do your yeah. thing. But, like, nowadays it seems like Halloween is all about pictures. But that's all I was going to say. I think people are not fun anymore. I think, like, people don't do... And what happened to Halloween party being and ghostly and ghouly? Now it's, like... Not in a bad way, but like tribute to homage. Like everything. Well, I think you have your like there were different types of parties, right? Like mm-hmm. you got your like theme, dress up, like you throw this type of party, everybody coming in, you still because a lot of them still do 
like parties. truth yeah. like because what's the um is it Heidi Klum yeah she got one of the like decades long Halloween parties where it'd be like come in full come in. costume yeah. and she'd be out here wilding and that's like their guts and glory kind of mm -hmm. we're being creepy and then someone else throws the like okay like this is just dress up party mm -hmm. and let's dress up and have fun. I think people now just don't party well. Have you like, seen the theme parties over suspect the party is based off of one thing. So meaning like yeah. the Beyonce party. Like we're all gonna come as this, yeah. Different versions of this. Yeah, Have yeah, you yeah. seen this? And then somebody they, did the Proud family. So everybody I saw everybody that. was a character from the, and that I was, was like dope. We like it here. We like I've it here. seen the Beyonce ones a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And it turns into this is probably on the TikTok, but it turns into um like who's gonna be drunker at the end of the night parties. Yeah. Have you seen this? Yes. And then at the beginning they go each version of Beyonce. They come on camera and they say which version of Beyonce they think is going to be the drunkest. Mm. So whether they be like Lemonade Beyonce, Check Up on the Beyonce, Crazy in Love Beyonce, because they all dress in these different like looks. And they kind of take throughout the night, and you see gradually by the end of the night who was the most drunk. Yeah, who was the most fucked up at the end of the night? I want to have a party. Let's go. I'm I'm with it. I don't know who I want to be because I want to pick somebody that's equally good for men and women. Because I was like, you know, a Beyonce theme party. What man dressing up as Prince? Oh, I mean, yeah, but I feel like you can definitely hit a Prince. I feel like that's what makes sense to me. I already know which friends I'm gonna be. Here we are. Okay. That's gonna be your party. Can I'm gonna do Mike. Okay. I'm gonna do, do you Mike. Want your invite? Don't do that. I mean, Don't it's I'm that. saying just because I'm not heavy into the press. I like and I'd be like, yeah. I mean, not necessarily musically before in terms no, of just costume. Just, I mean, like, I'm gonna get a blouse with fluff here. That's all I got for you. Ain't got no more. You can show your butt. You can get a thong. Not gonna do and that. Show your little booty cheek like you did at the concert. I'm not gonna do that. I don't understand. <laughs> She's a little cheap. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It's a little cheap. Yeah, but okay. I don't have plans for Halloween. Um, I'm gonna try not to scare the little children, trick or treaters, mm -hmm. and throw stuff at them. Mm -hmm. Adults, mm -hmm. y'all are crazy. I be staying inside now, though, as an adult, because the outside be crazy. I that's why I keep being confused. Really this drink how is. Loud that is on the mic. I feel like loud. It's loud to me. It's low key driving me crazy. Okay, I don't know if any of y'all have ever worked with dry ice. There's a lot of rules and regulations to it. Yes, it Please is. look into that before you purchase it. I was trying to be thin. No, but I love it. I was just like, I didn't know it did that. Like, I didn't know it was going to make, I didn't know it did that. I thought it just melted like regular ice, whatever. Yeah. But, okay. 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 So we talking about, we talking about like, okay, stuff that black people be like, we don't know the name of it. So we going to call it this. Okay. Let's talk about people who change their names. Who like the Facebook. That? Child, it's now the metaverse. What in the what in the metaverse is this? Welcome to the metaverse. The metaverse. Your every I wish is <laughs> not to me. I feel because do it like a show day. Do it like do a it metaverse. Like first, do it like it's war robots. God damn it! Because first, we're gonna die. First, first, first we're gonna die. why did we need this? Um, the two, Facebook. I feel like I'm in a flash. I don't know what's happening here. So Mark Zuckerberg decided his version of PR and crisis management for all the heat that Facebook gets for globally allowing fuckery, promoting fuckery, supporting fuckery. Instead of not doing the fuckery, the nigga said, it's ready player one. We gonna let y'all get in this bitch and create an alternate universe. You literally could go in there and be like, oh, where you could put images of your own house and make alter, or you can create whatever house you want to have. He was like, we're just going to create a universe. And the purpose of metaverse, unlike Facebook, is to make everyone's life ideal. So you can be who you want to be in metaverse. <laughs> Some more that. suicide. Because that's all I gathered from that. He that said. Many people was off of themselves. They don't live the life that they see other people living on the social. No, but he said now you can live it. <laughs> In the, the metaverse, it's it's supposed to be like Sims. Just log into I know, the metaverse. It's a virtual He's universe. He's brought it's Sims to life. Who Why told you I wanted to be a Sim? Have you seen the movie Ready Player One? I have not, but I got a good so, idea of what that is yeah, like. Yeah, Ready Especially Player from Black One, Mirror, and you can kiss all of yes. my ass. Yes, it is Black Mirror. Ready Player One is a movie where like 
it is now past the utopia version of this. It's really what, and we, that's all you do. It's really what we saw as kids growing up. The future was supposed to be like, and he was like, "Here's the future." I laid it out. He for took you. y'all. Actually, really can't convince me that Mark Zuckerberg is not a robot. If we're being honest, mm. especially in his new like before, our people would say it, and I'd be like, "Stop talking about that man." Okay, people just look differently, and now I'd be looking at him, and I'm just like. Ma'am. I'm not actually convinced. Have you seen some of the AI from China? You got the robot who got her own Twitter who be like, yeah, I'm out here looking for love and stuff. What? The rope it's a, I don't remember her name, but her and like Chrissy Teigen, I got into it. And she was what? like, nah, not as friends. <laughs> because it was like, she's a, and she thinks and functions she's for herself. She's a robot. Herself. It's a robot. And Chrissy Teigen be but Chrissy, a no, robot. Chrissy Teigen had said something about the use of artificial intelligence and like, how advanced and how like we need to have a limit and she responded the robot so, on her own accord Sophia Sophia on her own accord she got a name responded to Chrissy Teigen like nobody controls her she's monitored but nobody controls her she responded to Chrissy on her own accord like oh this is what I meant and why would you say something like that like robot hate some shit <laughs> and they was like oh my god and Chrissy was like I don't want to go down when you decide to kill people I was just joking we trying to be she was like oh I love you don't worry about it it's time we're friends okay Nope, so not playing these is a whole. So now I am. My, hold on, let me bring my mic closer. Y'all can fucking kiss me. Listen, ass. I'm not. So I am I'm not sorry. That's Sophia. I'm sorry. Production is showing me the picture of Sophia, and I'm having I very think they agents gave of Sophia shield a moment. Wig now. Wait, no, I'm having um, a very agents of shield moment. I don't know if y'all watch that. Yes, but this has been out for <laughs> years. I, I have, this is my first time. You see me? I had this is serious. This is it is, but this is why I'm like. <laughs> Okay, so I know this is your first time, but my problem is like this type of technology has been out for years, years, like decades, not like years, like oh five, nah, like some decades. Like if you look at this, they're perfecting what's China and the rest of the rest of America. We stupid. We need to just acknowledge we stupid because our technology be nothing. China over there got robots doing every function imaginable. Okay, that's why in all the video games, I write I Robot is one of my favorite movies, but I am not slowly ready for coming that. to like. It is. Okay, when I saw maybe that Sophia clip, is the one who's going. Hey, Sophia, she blink the, twice. She the, she the blue block. You the blue she block. The blue blink block. twice if you on our side, please, because <laughs> listen, they got the th- three rules. I don't even know if people these rules. Here's what's fucked up. Here's what's fucked up. I don't think that this today's reality of people would actually program robots with those rules. I don't believe so. I don't feel like they would program them to be like, don't do human harm, don't like... I don't think they would. I feel like people would program them to be like, I hate this group of people. Kill on site. I don't like... Make their life miserable. Like, that's what I think people... Advance life how you see fit. Oh no. That's what I think will happen. But I'm not convinced Mark Zuckerberg is a no robot at this point. Have you seen Sophia? I think that might be no, when I his seen, real life. That when might I be I seen that clip of the robot like doing the obstacle course, like running, jumping, cat I was like, What in the I robot is this? I didn't see You don't remember up. when um when President Obama come back save us. When President How Obama you, you like the Biden is cool. I'm just it saying, ain't Trump. It's not. I'm just saying be that thankful. No, nah, I don't need to be thankful that if you ain't shit, then you shouldn't have been there. That's not my fault. <laughs> um, I feel like Kamala might be running the country, but let's talk about that later. Um, when Obama was in office, he had went over to China and was like playing soccer with this robot. Literally. Playing like, let's kick the ball around. You, that's why I'm not president. Uh, shut the shit down. It's Get the it's nukes ready. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Who? What country? Got- nah, G. We're not you doing that. You talking about walls are up. Yo, can't no one travel here. The fuck out of here. Like, I am allies. We're not friending any fucking. Money. No okay. one. Li- First of all, everybody, go back to your corners of the world. Okay, <laughs> let's have a summit. We'll regroup on what makes sense because if robots, if you tell me we got to worry, it's robots we got to worry about. It's the aliens we got to worry about. And then it's still the humans we got to worry about. Yes, Which, and the why. Listen, we got to strategically. As a black person. No, nah, like, but I'm just like, <laughs> we ain't even got to the subsection of like what type of humanity you got to worry about. Because you got the like white people, you got the mole people, white people. Then you got like, you got a spectrum. Did we as confusion and concern about? No. 
Imagine you're gonna have me in the metaverse. I got to deal with all. Is it banned? Is all of this stuff banned in the metaverse? Because I might go in. I might be like, plug me in, G. Matrix. <laughs> Can I, can I opt out? But then what happens when you can never get out? I mean, the Matrix. speaking of the Matrix, they got another one. I'm actually excited about I it. I am nice. I was never a big fan of this whole Matrix. Um, that's real life. I'm, yeah, I'm, okay. Let yeah, me, that's really be sitting here like, am I living in the Matrix right Let now? me tell you, okay, this is strange thoughts from the Asia. I used to think about that before the Matrix before I watched The Matrix, I don't even know if it came out, but when I was younger, I used to really think about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to sit there and be like, because I like sci-fi and anime shit anyway, and I'd be like, you know what? What if all this is fake? Mm-hmm. Like, what if this is somebody's dream? What if somebody created me and I'm not, like, you know, grand scheme you of things. You know what I'm always wondering? Am I, I think what I'm tipsy. Um, you know what I always talk it's about? It's a lot of the vodka. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. That's a real thing. Well, it's a first philosophy. Time. Yeah, for philosophy. It's first mm-hmm. time. And I'm always like, or like you've been here before and you live mm-hmm. a certain life, and then they be like, you know how they'll say a person has been here before, like, mm-hmm. oh, you remind, mm-hmm. or you look like a certain person from this many years ago. And I'm always like, I want that memory slightly. Like if I was here, like, can you hold on to? Yeah, like I mm-hmm. want, like whenever it comes to the point that I'm no longer on this earth, right? Am I reborn? And depends on what you believe in. I know, but if I am, can I hold on to a little bit? Just a tad. Okay, let me just see how bit. the good things. That's of what Twitter. deja vu come in. Man. The good things of Twitter. <laughs> the good things of Twitter. They low key fuck you up. So I saw a, a thread on this one time, and they was like, you know how specifically black people when we be like seeing kids and stuff, and it's like you got such an old soul mm-hmm. and they was like what if low key you really do because like when you're a kid you remember it's easier for you to remember your your previous sales or whatever so you actually do have an old soul because you've been around <laughs> and then they was and like I, yeah, yeah. Yes. shit that really fucked me up they was like and around, 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 I ain't gonna let that slide mm-hmm. um, they was like what if when babies come out crying it's because they realize they just passed away in a previous life, so they enter the new world crying. Oh, and then uh, and I was like, first the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chill the fuck out. Calm down <laughs> is what you need to do because I was like, oh, like. But I, you know, what's so funny? I had a dancer. I kid you not. We went to Atlanta and we went to Dr. King's like place they have, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Coretta Scott. Mm-hmm. That dancer that I had at the time was a spitting fucking image. Was of, they related or of younger like Coretta Scott King? Like, oh, that she just looked like her. She literally like if her picture, her younger picture, and put yeah. my dancer next, literally yeah, like the same okay. fucking person. It was so weird. You'd be like, I know you don't think this your can, but you should uh, take you a should DNA look test. Into that. You but she took looked a DNA just test. like her. You really be like. Mm. Are you related or like That'd be weird when that? you see people and you be like, You look just, just like. like But it be just like Yeah. I saw a picture of like Whitney Houston and they put like her and her great grandmother or her grandmother or something. I was like You are descended. I would be as confusion as her mama looking at you like you is my mama. Yeah, I can't even I can't even tell you what to not do because you is my mama and so live your life. Who am I? Who am I to tell you you can't do these things? Okay. Okay. Now Okay, you know we like the ratchet stuff. Because we're ratchet. Let's get ratchet. ratchet. On quick ratchet news. <laughs> quick ratchet news. We're going to zoom okay. that across the screen. <laughs> Freak niggas suing 21 Savage. But the lie. Because um, apparently, speaking of branding, did know Freak Nick is an official brand. They is copyrighted. They got legal papers. And 21 Savage. Throw that ass in the circle. Ah. Throw that ass in the circle. Come Get on, it, hey. He was in the band. He was in the band. When you twerk with shoulders. <laughs> if, you <laughs> twerk with soldiers, if you twerk with soldiers, you, you was in the band, okay? Because nobody was down here moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> shoulder it. Hit the shoulder. Okay. But 21 Savage threw a birthday party. Mm-hmm. Freak Nick things. Big booty hoes. Jump with it. And Freak Nick said, nigga, we told you. Run the check for this promotion. <laughs> And or don't, and he didn't. So now they suing him. I feel like um, I like the Twenty One Savage. 
I like 21 Savage. I didn't know I was going to like him, but I actually, come on. 21, I actually 21. do like okay. him. I like the 21. And I just feel like that's petty. Like, I don't feel like you should sue me over talking about theme parties, right? So, like, we throw a Halloween party. We throw a birthday party, and it's themed. And it's just my party, like... I'm not making money. I'm not making money from it being freak Nick. This is 21 Savage birthday party and you're coming. Like, nobody paid to come in this. Yeah. Nobody is making money off of this. It's just like, come to my party. I could have been like, biker shorts and looseness. Well, freak Nick is trying to um, change their image. So. How you going to change freak Nick? To what? Your name Home is Nick? freak Nick. He wants us to be more family friendly. Your name It's Freak, Freak Nick. Nick. We got the VHS tapes. Listen, <laughs> nigga, you like, not finna play with me. Stop you playing not. with me. You and when you had your last one a couple years ago, we got the fucking flash drives and CDs <laughs> from it. We is not playing this game with you. Why are you being weird to me? <laughs> You was left hand on neck, right hand on frontal, and now all of a sudden, you. I don't get it. I don't understand. What you mean? How you gonna family orient Freak Nick? You can't. You gotta change your whole name. You, you gotta don't, become a You gotta be like, Freak means weird. No. <laughs> freak means slut me out. That's what it means. That's what Freak that means. Freak circle. means. I got it. <laughs> ass slap, leg slap, front back, side to side. That's what freak me. You're not gonna. It's family oriented. Who's family? Who's like brothel kind of family? Like family of hoes? Family like what? Family of pimps? What are we doing? Like a stable? What is we definitely? So freak Nick was like, yeah, give us, give us our. I'm like what? I just don't think that I'm mad. Okay. Freak Nick metaverse rebranded. <laughs> Not a person, the door. Your mama you called you Facebook. We gonna call you Facebook. Okay. Your mama yeah, called you Freak Nick. Hey, that's the name of your birthday. Your mama called you Freak Nick. We gonna call you Freak Nick. <laughs> All right. That's that. On this no, drink. On this... What you got? I'm mad at Freak Nick now. <laughs> now I'm gonna get this a five. Oh, definitely a five. I'm gonna I'm give it a five. Pretty sure I'm tipsy. Uh, yeah. It's the vodka and the it's eye of newt. The, it's the vodka. It's the eye of newt. The fairy blood. A little sparkle, whatever the fuck else. Yeah, you guys, make sure y'all make this drink. Halloween is on Sunday. I want y'all to be great and safe. Be and safe. Celebrate. Um, like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, follow, share information below. And 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 we are out. Deuces. Bye. It's the bobbing me. What the? It's the bobbing. Was that the one? Stiff wear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was stiff everywhere because I had a problem. So what was we <laughs> What Man. the shit was shaking around Dude. here? Nothing <laughs> immovable force against nature. What's up? Okay, black one is here. Be like, and, and move me. That's what we get back. So, who gonna move me? Who finna check me? No one. Who gonna check me? No boo, one. Not you. Your hair be like, bitch, try me. Not impressed. Try your mother. Well, here's try me. Superman be like, bitch, could you? No. No, we won't. No, we won't. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta hold on until there's a stop in your mouth. They was real Michael Jackson on that part. I'm like, remix? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they actually say on that I'm part. Not. She'd be like, you got to hold on something, something. And I was just oh, like. Oh, I know part. So I'm like, like where Michael are you Jackson going vibes. And it's, it is what it is. Hold out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, Roy. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> She was singing today. Listen. <laughs> she was a singer. Um, it's because she's here for the booze. You know we went. <laughs> she get all the food. Where's my dear tomato at? Where's my tomato? <laughs> Yo, I'm petty. You know, you know a text message. Y'all some haters. I'm like, like, boo, I throw some, I put tomatoes in there. I do the thumbs up like tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Y'all just haters. Haters, they don't. That's all right. That's all right. That's, oh. that's okay because I know the difference between regular vanilla and French vanilla and that. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's okay. Random facts. You want my you want my dad joke? You want my dad joke? Okay. Let's it's a go. good dad joke. Do you know the difference between regular vanilla no, and French vanilla? No, it's the other dad joke. I don't know. No, but let me get that one. No, 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 give me that one though. What's the okay, difference? The difference between regular vanilla and French vanilla is one has an accent. <laughs> get your ass off the house. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs>
<laughs> but what was Brittany? Brittany, what did what? you give us earlier? Uh, what, it, what does tofu and a dildo have in common? What? What, what does tofu and common? a dildo have in common? They're so not. Both meat substitutes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, we ready? You ready, B?